Hey, I'm Alex and I'm a Unity game developer. By the end of this video series, you'll have a pretty good idea of how Unity works, and I'll walk you through how to build your very own 3D game from scratch. Now, if you haven't already installed Unity, there are some considerations you need. So, head over to the link in the description, or unity.com, and in this website, click Download Unity. Download the version that you need, and you should see a download right here. It should walk you through the install procedure, but I'm not going to do that because I obviously already have Unity right here. Now, what we have here isn't actually Unity. This is Unity Hub, and we use this to manage our different projects and the installs we have right here. Now, if you've just freshly installed this, there should be nothing here. Um, so let's change that. Click on Install Editor right here. And you're going to want to choose one of these long-term support or LTS versions. So I just recommend installing the latest version, that's LTS. And this should be the most stable version of Unity and it will crash less. Now there's also other versions like these pre-releases. And unless you really need them, I'd advise against using them. Now once the latest version is installed, which is when I'm recording this 2021.3.1 one F1. Head on over to your project panel and click on create new project. Now I'm just going to make sure that it's using the right version of Unity that I just installed and select the 3D template right here. Give it any name you'd like and click on create project. Now this process should take anywhere from two to maybe five minutes and what it's doing is it's generating a blank project for us to use. All right, awesome. So once the project is done creating, you should be greeted with this sort of user interface. This user interface might look pretty daunting at first. And just by the way, if you'd like this dark theme that I'm using, go to Edit, Preferences, General. And then in here, you can select either light or dark. Fantastic. All right, so let's, let's jump in. Now, this might look pretty daunting at first, so I'll just explain what these different panels here do. So this panel right here is probably one of the most important. This is your scene view. In here, you can just preview your game. And this is where you build your levels and stuff like that. Over here, this is your hierarchy. And here you can see a list of all your objects in your scene. So in this default scene, you have a camera, which is your game view and is the perspective from which your player will see your game when they play it. And we also have a light right here. Now you might have noticed that when we select different objects, this inspector window also changes. In this window, we can make modifications to the different components. So for example, for this light, under the light components, we can change the color intensity, and stuff like that. In the camera, we can also make some adjustments. For example, if we change this to solid color, we can change the background color. All right, so that's three windows down. We have three more to go. This is the game window, and in here, we can play our game to test it out. To play it, you press this play button right here. You can also freeze it, and you can stop it by pressing the play again. This is our project window, and in here we can manage all of our code and drag in stuff like art, music, sound effects that we're going to use in our game. And this is our console window, and we can use this to check for errors or write statements from our code. So let's actually try this out. Head on over to your hierarchy window over here, right click and click Create Empty. You can name this whatever you want, it doesn't really matter, and then head over to our Inspector window and click Add Component right here. Now scroll down and click New Script. A script in Unity is like code, which helps us do stuff. You can name this whatever you want, I'll just name it Test. And as you can see, creating the script also created it in our project right here. Double click it. Now, if you installed Unity through Unity Hub, 
it should have also installed a program called Visual Studio. It should be a pretty similar interface to this. I use a different program called JetBrains Writer, which is paid, but the functionality is essentially the same. I just use this because it's what I'm used to. So when you open the script, it generates some basic code for you. Basically for now, we don't want to touch this. And it creates two different methods for us. Void start, which is called when you first play your game, and void update, which is called every single frame. Let's actually test something out in our start method right here. So in between these curly brackets, type debug, shit. <laughs> type debug dot log, and then in here put two quotation marks. Now see this thing that says message? That's just something that my code editor does to help me out, but don't actually type that. You just need these two quotation marks. Now in these quotation marks, you can type whatever you want. I'll put hello world. And make sure to add a semicolon after this line and then hit control S to save. And if you head over back to Unity, if you select your game object, the script should be here. Now, if you press play, it might look like nothing happened. But what this code actually does that we just made right here is if we go to this console window and select this button right here, it prints hello world. All right, let's make an actual game now. So delete this game object, right click and create a cube. Now, as you can see, it should show up in your game view and we can sort of position this how we'd like. And this would be our floor. Awesome. Now let's create a, another cube. We can name this player. And if we play this, nothing happens. So let's make it move. We can click on add component and type in rigid body, and this will make it fall to the ground. As you can see here, it falls, which is pretty sweet. Now this is pretty impressive, but what if we want this cube to move around a little bit? 